An In-Depth Look at a Line, Lesson 4. My name is Barry Kimball. This lesson will demonstrate how to use the Align tool to establish continuity between two surfaces. Understand the projection option and utilize various options to control the alignment results. In this lesson we'll discuss using the projection option to achieve continuity between surfaces. The key learning objectives are how to use the project option, know when to use edge alignment versus projection alignment, and understanding the vector options. In this lesson we'll begin to discuss the differences between alignment type of edge and project. I'd like to show first the edge projection of this boundary to this trim edge. And we, in previous discussions, we've done a lot of modifications, but to these, these types of edges. In this case, I can't get this to match or to align within any anywhere less than than this value. So my preferred method in, in making these types of, of alignments and gaining this continuity is instead of trying to match to an existing trim edge, which reality is we don't know how smooth that is, I'd like to just match to the face of this surface. So I'm going to revert and untrim this surface. Okay. Now if we try to align it again and we go to edge type and we select it, we're still aligning to an existing curve on surface. Okay, so we can make any modifications that we want as we'll get the same result. Okay. So what you need to do is delete that curve on surface. What this allows us to do is use the project option. Select the surface we want to modify and just pick on any boundary. Now what's currently shown is a little misleading. There's some vector options. So the software needs to know in what way should it project this edge onto this surface. Well currently it's using X which based on this little trihedron down here, X is going in this direction. So we want that to go in Y. So I'll select the Y and we get a much better result. Now we don't have a lot better alignment, but the situation we have now, the current shape of this surface boundary is being projected onto this surface and then the software is telling us that there's a gap. So what this allows us to do is manipulate the control vertices to change the shape of this surface to gain continuity. So I'm going to turn the control vertices on and I'll open the control panel so we can use some move CV tools. And what I see here is maybe the software would like a little more control towards this end of the surface so it can fix this little gap. So I'll use the slide hull feature. I'll, I'll select this this hull maybe. And I'm just going to select on this point to bias this hull a little bit this way. And you can see since I have my performance options turned on to update during transform, as I modify that edge and push a little bit of control this way towards the end where the gap was, the software is continually updating the alignment. And it now shows me that we have continuity. Again, query edit will open the history and we can check for curvature. And we have curvature. So the key here is when matching to a trim edge, try to match to the surface instead of that specific trim edge. I would say um, you'll, you'll find maybe better or, or easier results. Here I'll demonstrate another design modification that requires the Align tool. If I 
turn on the diagnostic shading you'll see that we have a set of surfaces that needs to be continuous with this blue surface but a change has been requested to bend this blue surface to a different shape so the original surface must have been more linear and now we need to add some crown to that surface or bend that surface in so now we need to rematch all of these surfaces to this new surface to do that we'll use the align project so I'm going to turn the shading back off so to do that I'll select the boundary to be modified and select the surface that I'd like to match it to so we get a dashed symbol here a, a dashed outline to this surface when you see that that means that the software can't determine how to it can't determine a projection direction to get that edge onto the surface so we need to diagnose that currently we're asking it to project in the y direction so if we look at the data and we look at our y direction the y direction points in this way so it probably can't find this surface so we could tell it maybe z it still can't find it or or x and maybe in x direction it can't find it so another option is normal so that projects these control vertices in the normal direction to match to get alignment so it would be the same as projecting this curve onto this surface using normal now you don't want to do that because you for one it's been incorporated into the align function so that's an addition for 2010. The other reason you don't want to do that is that once you project the curve onto the surface and then use the edge matching or edge alignment to gain continuity, you're restricted by that position of the curve on surface. So we'd like the align function to always determine based on the current location of the surface edge where to project the curve. So if any modifications happen to the surface, the projection gets updated and we're constantly matching to the surface face, not to an edge. Okay? So we get a nice match there. All right. And now we'll ask for curvature and we get curvature continuity. I'll pick nothing and request the same thing on these other surfaces. and we gain continuity all the way along. Okay. Now one last thing we could do, there was a modification that we don't have a surface for, so we need we need to now match this surface up to this new edge. So that's going to be an edge alignment and we'll match this edge to this edge. We're asking for curvature continuity and we get a bunch of, of strange errors. I'll slide the positional influence to 1. That matches those CVs right on each other. And we get a solid alignment. One thing we could do in addition, maybe this surface is still curvature continuous with some other piece of geometry. We could turn blending on and add one row. That means it's just going to bump this row up just a little bit. If I turn the blending off and back on, you can see it just bumps it up a little and evens out that transition a little bit. So that describes normal projection. I'd like to demonstrate an alternative method to building a quarter panel transition. Often users use a procedural workflow where they create curves, project them onto surfaces, and then create surfaces with continuity. An alternative to that is to create some gener generic forms and then use the align function to gain continuity. So in this situation, I've created some curves in the side view that are a shape that I want. And I've created some rough surfaces based on those curves just to give me a surface CV network that I can now modify using the align function. So I have already set, I'll use this uh, multi 
random color tool to show you the number of surfaces that are on the screen. So these are just side view curves. All the rest of the geometry is three dimensional. So now what I'd like to do is, based on this form, I'd like to match continuity or achieve continuity. To do that, I'll use the align function. We'll use the project feature. I select the boundary that I want to modify first and the surface that I want to align it to. In this case, we get a dashed boundary. This means that based on the projection direction, the software can't determine how to align the surface. So I'm going to look at my X, Y, and Z, and I'll select the Y direction, and it can make the alignment. So in the side view, there has been no change to any of these CVs. So if I go to orthographic viewing and I revert, we'll see no change in this control vertice structure. So again, I select the surface I want to modify and the surface I want to modify it to. Now, interesting here, you can select edge, and then it goes to the edge that I selected. So if you happen to have the align tool set on edge and you pick it incorrectly, you don't have to revert and undo. You can simply set it to project and it will project. One thing to notice is that there's no positional influence slider. And the reason that there is no positional influence slider is when we use the project feature, we're telling the software that we want to project things based on user input, not based on the software having any control. So here we're telling the software to only use Y, so there's no alternative location available for these CVs. So a positional influence slider um, would really be not relevant. So we could turn some changes, make some changes to the the spans, up the degree maybe, and we can get there almost by going to 7. Maybe we could use 8 and we can achieve continuity. A lot of users don't like to use this high of a degree surface. If that's the case, my suggestion is to do the following. Leave the software at its, at its original or leave the surface at its original degree. Do a pick nothing and we'll use object edit attach detach and I'll select keep originals that way I have the main surface always and I'll have two new pieces I'll select the go button and I'll I'll use the alt key and the left mouse button just to snap it to the middle that looks like a pretty good place and hit go and now I can select the larger surface and I'm just going to toggle it invisible now we already have an existing curve on surface. So, as discussed previously, you don't want to try to align to an existing curve on surface. You, want, you need the align function to control the curve on surface. That way you have better opportunity to get within the proper tolerance. So I'll delete that curve on surface, object edit, the align function and I'll ask to align this edge to this surface and we'll do the same here. And you can see that now we have continuity. We need to do the same thing on this end. We could try normal. It's a long ways away so you can see that by using normal now we've, we've changed this relationship if we look at it from the side view, those used to line up, so I'm going to go to the Y for this one also. Okay, and the same thing, we don't have enough controls in this surface to match this shape plus this surface face. So I'm going to pick nothing, object edit, and detach this surface. And maybe I'll pick, I don't know. We could use the Alt key, puts it there. That's probably okay. Select this surface and I'll toggle it invisible. Delete the curves on surface and we'll align this side. A 
All right. Go back to perspective. I'm going to quickly check some other continuity. So evaluate surface continuity. And let's check these boundaries. And everything's curvature. We'll do a little trim on this surface. To do that, we need a small curve on surface here. So I will curve, create a new curve on surface. Control key snaps here, and I'll just drag a curve on surface there. And I'll trim both of these surfaces. We'll delete the locators and turn our shading on. And now we have a nice quarter transition. In this lesson you learned how to set up and establish a projection based alignment between two surfaces and how to use the vector options to achieve continuity.